Winter does not want to let go this year. April 3rd, 2022, and it snowed last night. The lighting in here is terrible, so I apologize for the dimness. But we're getting geared up to get this joystick uh, bucket controller set up, and I'm doing some preliminary decision making here. This is obviously the uh, the two stick factory configuration, which if you've watched some of my other videos, um, you'll know that I've had issues with, and I'm babying it like crazy right now just so it holds up because I still need the machine several times a week, um, two times a week anyway, to give the horses their round bales. But it's getting real close to time to um, to get things going. So I just thought I'd do this preliminary video to show you where I'm at so far. So to minimize my pain in changing hydraulic lines, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to mount this right here to the fender. And it looks like all of the long lines going to the bucket will will reach that location. This is the unit that I bought. In a minute I'm going to show you um, some footage of part numbers, where I got it, so on and so forth. Now I'm by no means a hydraulic expert, but I did talk to someone who said that they've used this on this particular tractor in the 950s with, uh, with great success. And this is what he recommended that I buy, so that's why I bought this one. Hopefully this will focus, give you a little info on the valve assembly itself. Now the stick that comes with it is a little bit cheesy, but to be honest with you, if it works, I don't care. It actually could be a stick in there and I'd be okay with it. I'm also told that I needed this Power Beyond valve, so I ordered one of those as well and I will definitely utilize it. And again, hopefully that'll focus so you can see. And these are the part numbers. Price wasn't terrible compared. This is the only documentation that comes with it. It's a bit lacking in my opinion. It tells you um, a little bit of info, ports, uh, side outlets, things of that nature, and gives you a breakdown of the, uh, the control valve itself, the part numbers and specifications. So here is where my real concern lies, is this pipe, this pipe, and this pipe down here. Getting those to the new valve. But honestly, I was at Tractor Supply, I don't know, two weeks ago. And I just happened down the aisle that they have the hydraulic hoses and so forth. And I was really surprised that they have a boatload of these fittings. They have hydraulic hoses this size in, in various lengths, 144 inches down to 24, I believe it was, or 18. So what I'll probably wind up doing is replacing these three pipes with flexible hose from Tractor Supply and utilizing their fittings and try to make it all neat and cute and safe so that it's not dangling and you know can get caught on things but like i said i really want to put this in this area here on the uh, right side fender and everything should be pretty cut and dry i shouldn't say that because i'll jinx myself in a heartbeat but everything should should be in the proper vicinity anyway to get this hooked up and, and 
you know working correctly so again I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at my thought process and where I'm going to uh, attempt to obtain the materials that I need or the parts that I need to uh, to get this done so the weather is so bad and I've been so busy and I so want to get this done so I'm really hoping in the next couple of weeks I'll gather up all the parts that I need start drilling holes unbolt and stuff and uh, and getting it done and obviously there'll be a video on that you know so hopefully it can help somebody out out there that might be having the same issue as, as I'm having but um, alright guys Sunday the 3rd April 2022 Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk real soon. Take care, y'all.